a new cosplay and as you already seen from the title it's going to be the paladin suits <laughs> this is very exciting uh, i've already done a lot of research uh in the what do you call it for the pattern work but i will show you that right now so this is what i've been doing today i've hanged everything i could find I've done, I've searched like photos from ba full back. I don't actually have a full front photo. And then I found this uh, pattern work on the internet. Just search for photo and paladin pattern. But it's just like resource material because I'm making my own at the moment. As you can see, I like to draw like the flat surface because that is what we'll be needing for the foam. And then I like to do lo those 3D kind of stuff which um, I already indicated like where I need to put velcro and stuff I also did that for the suit portion I still need to do it for the arm portion but it's kind of like giving the general idea how I'm going to start this cosplay so you've seen I've done a couple of research work already I still need to uh, make like a mock-up as I'm going to make a small version just out of paper just to see how the part fits and then I'll probably ask my dad to like resize it and print it on a giant paper <laughs> so I can fit it on myself. We're going to use um, starting with the belt we're going to make today because we need to reprint the pattern because it was too small. <laughs> so, yeah. so uh, don't expect this to be a tutorial because it won't be. Uh, it's probably for us also a trial and error. <laughs> it fell on the table. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Um, so I will make this a uh, work vlog instead of a tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making uh, four suits. Four. Not the same, four. but... <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, the colors are different. You yeah. know, the balance. And suits. also the sizes and Ella needs a female one. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. So, um, we're starting on a belt today. Let's see how that turns out.
for my next step, if you will call it. I made a pattern myself. This is... Normally it should be my size. If I counted the things right. <laughs> so now I'm going to cut this out and then I'll try it myself. And also you've seen we already made our belts. Which are these? They look pretty awesome. Um, only need to sand them, but we'll do that probably when we're together. But they're so cool! pattern almost almost um, they're quite funny if you try them on but they're actually fitting really well this is the armor uh, lessen the neck portion because it looks very weird and I only need to figure out how the under um, how do you call it lower leg I don't know um, yeah, the boot portion of the armor. I need to figure out that. And then we'll have every <laughs> piece. <laughs> so, um, except for the shoulder parts, but this is just like on my feeling. And I've already printed the paper versions for the other ones. So we can do that. Eh? And my dog needs a lot of attention. But I need to work. <laughs> Okay, so now that all the patterning work is done for myself, because I need to adjust it for my friends. I'm going to start off with the um, lower arm. So I'm going to try and um, fit it on foam. I already traced it with like a um, half a centimeter extra, and I'm going to see if this fits. out of 10 millimeter because we think it will be a little bit sturdier than the 5 but for the arms I suggested we do that 5 because you still need to move your arms more than you do your breast and well it could be out of 10 but I preferably make it out of 5 um, yeah it's what you want but we like also the different size things like I do <laughs> And um, yeah, we've we'll got a little bit more. Woo! So, first test fit. The upper one is lowering a bit. Um, but I won't be mad about that. Uh, because, we'll, uh, because with the Velcro, it's going to stick on the shoulder patches, which I actually can't touch now. <laughs> my shoulder. Um, but I think they look 
actually really good. Hey, so I think we're around day four of the making of my paladin suits. Or my our paladin suits. And today Luna is coming over, so we'll make her paper armor. And then we'll see if it fits. Well, most of the time to see if it fits. And maybe we can also alter um, the arm pieces that I made for myself. So she could arrive any moment now. like uh, cut it out we did her whole uh, body paper armor <laughs> <laughs> and we already cut the arm pieces and part of the leg pieces Woo! yes girl <laughs> you didn't see your face when you did that <laughs> it's like mm. just a flat <laughs> <laughs> so we'll um, see when we finish the rest. but not today anymore <laughs> yay <laughs> Not the best option, so I've got um, read some stuff online which say that uh, contact cement will work better, so we're going to use that. But first, I'm going to uh, shape them so I don't have to do it afterwards. Well, afterwards, not really, but otherwise, I need to like glue, hot gun, glue, hot gun. Not going to happen. <laughs> try it out. Uh, I'm actually going to stop this first part of the video here um, since I think I have already got a lot of footage of my process. Um, next video will be the uh, paper armor of Elena and Ina and also uh, starting with cutting parts for Ellen, her legs and arms and also hopefully we can start on the rest. Um, let's call it the rest blade, it doesn't matter, uh, the upper body part. Um, yeah, see if we can if we can start on that. Depends on how much time we have. And I will see you in the next video, guys. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, maybe. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!